The Intrazone Allow Rule Assessment checks to see if the firewall has a default security policy rule at the bottom of the rule base, Intrazone Default, that allows all traffic whose source and destination are within the same zone. Override the rule, enable Log at Session End to gain visibility into the allowed traffic, and apply at least the antivirus, anti-spyware, and vulnerability protection security profiles to protect against threats. Security admins should create a separate rule for each zone to track logs specific to each zone's intrazone traffic so that there are separate logs. Separate rules also enable you to apply different security profiles to different zones. For each intrazone rule, set the zone as both the source and destination zone, set the rest of the source and destination objects, the applications, and the service to any, set log at session N, and place each rule above the default intrazone rule in the security policy rule base. This is the first step in the BPA Plus wizard. You have been redirected here by either clicking the button in the BPA report or from the Get Help section. The first step in the process is to select Browse to upload your tech support file. Navigate to the tech support file and click Open. Now that the tech support file has been successfully uploaded, we can continue to the next step in the process. The next screen that displays is just to let you know that you need to set up the PanOS CLI for BPA+. This is how BPA+, remediates your issue. Click Next. At this stage, you can see that there are multiple BPA failed checks. For this demo, we're only going to remediate the intrazone allow rule with logging. Click Next. At the very top, you'll see a message, please copy and execute the commands below to create log forwarding profiles. The BPA Plus Wizard has determined you need to create a log forwarding profile. This step must be performed prior to continuing on with the BPA Plus Wizard. I'm going to copy the commands to the clipboard. Now we'll switch over to the firewall CLI to enter the commands. Here are the rules we copied. <laughs> Once we log in, simply paste the commands we got from the BPA Plus Wizard. And now we'll go back to the BPA Wizard and continue. This log forwarding profile will be used at the commands at the end to remediate the issue. At this point, we need to assign some threat prevention profiles. If these profiles were not already available on our firewall, we could simply click the down arrow and select Best Practice Profile. You could copy the commands here and enter them on the firewall as we did previously. Since the firewall already has the pre-configured profiles, we will just select Next. At the top it says, please review the best practice settings and select the desired option for your config. The Intrazone default at Vsys is a device group associated with this policy. You can see that the best practice settings is selected and any parameter highlighted in blue is what will be changed to adhere to best practices. You can see here log at session start will be set to false. If you select existing settings, you'll be presented with a message, are you sure you want to deselect the best practice settings for this profile? We advise against this as this will make your system less secure. Let's go ahead and reselect the best practice settings and hit next. So please review your changes before execution. Your existing configuration will be updated once the PanOS set commands are executed. The next section is Generate Set Commands. This button will allow you to copy all commands if you are remediating a multitude of policies or other best practice fails check. This would copy all the commands to remediate them all. In this case, we're only doing once. We're going to scroll down and see the commands. Up here it tells you important information about the commands. This is just letting you know that there's a limitation on some terminal emulators to 20 commands at a time. And so if you enter more than that, be sure to look for that or we recommend you only copy 20 at a time. And also the next thing is configuration changes will not take effect until a successful commit operation. Please be sure to follow your company's policy with respect to making configuration changes. Next we'll look at the commands. The first one is configure which puts the firewall into configuration mode. The next three commands are associated with the intrazone default rule. 
the action is set to allow, the log at session start to no, and the log at session end to yes. The next rule will set the default security rule interzone default log setting to the basic log forwarding profile you created in the previous steps. The next three commands set the threat prevention profiles for antivirus, anti-spyware, and corp vulnerability. Then the exit command exits configuration mode. So we'll copy these commands. Now we'll switch over to the firewall. So you can see from here, this is the second set of commands I'm going to execute. So I'll copy those. Again, go to the CLI of the firewall. Once logged in, I'll paste the commands. Everything looks good. I don't see any error messages. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to uh, execute a commit. Um, again, you should follow your company policies on this to ensure that it meets the company policy on making configuration changes. So I'm going to enter configure mode. Then I'm going to do a commit. Wait for that commit to finish. Okay, after the commit is completed, I'm going to go ahead and view the firewall. Navigate to policies. Scroll down to the interzone default rule. Select actions. And as you can see, the action settings are now allow. The antivirus vulnerability and anti spyware profiles have been assigned. Log at session start is unchecked. Log at session end is selected. We can also see the log forwarding profile we created in the previous step. This concludes the demo.